Yes, I know what you're probably thinking, this isn't console edition, it's Java edition, but it gets close enough because it literally has everything. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your Java edition to the console edition with the 4J Legacy mod. Now you will need everything other than the mod for this, which I'm going to show you how to do it if you are not familiar with this yet. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go down to the description and in the description there will be a link it should lead you here to Legacy 4J as you will see um, it says this mod adapts all features from the old Minecraft Legacy console edition and obviously it brings it into Java as you'll see you'll find a page like this it shows all the current features creative flight stuff like that you can read that all when you come here and they're even planning to put it to earlier versions so like you could make like you could join in title update 1 and it would look like title update 1 and obviously that's what we've been wanting for ages to play old minecraft with our friends so i guess that's the closest we can get so as you can see here are some screenshots on the site of how it looks it looks very amazing um as you can see looks just like the console edition and yeah it's got some extra settings for you because obviously it's java and you probably want console edition to be more customizable because otherwise if it's just console edition it's going to be very boring so what you want to do is you want to go down here and click see all then once you click see all as you can see you'll be brought with a load of versions now for this one if you use neo forge you'll download neo forge if you use forge you'll download forge if you use fabric you'll download fabric now the most popular one is fabric so i'm going to download this one legacy minecraft fabric 1.20.4 so now once you click it you'll be brought here to legacy minecraft as you'll see it'll show all the change logs and stuff like that you just want to click download right here 29 megabytes so you just want to click that and it should start downloading now as you can see what you want to go ahead and do is you want to type in percent app data percent inside of the search bar right here now when you open up percent app data percent it will show you this you got to find your uh, minecraft folder where you can put your mods in so for example i obviously use t launcher because i'm too poor but this works for anything so you want to go ahead and go to the folder where you find all your mods resource packs it should look a lot like this and then you want to go into mods and you just want to go ahead and drag the file from your downloads into this one now once you put it in there as you can see you have legacy 4j in there now now you will need a load of other stuff which is fabric api and architectory um one one eleven seventeen and um zero ninety seven zero plus twenty point four um, because it the game the mod won't work on its own so you're gonna have to download these they will be linked down in the description below you just want to put them in the mods folder right here and then once you put them in there um, that's really about it now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go to the link in the description and download fabric as you can see it says download so you want to go ahead and download fabric and then click download for windows it should download and then you want to go ahead and open it and it should bring up a little file just looking like this now it has been brought up you want to go to 1.20.4 you want to go ahead and keep the version on what it is and then what you want to do is you want to click install now it should do all of this and then as you can see um, you have installed the game successfully now what you want to do is you want to open up your launcher as you can see here this is the launcher i use and you want to look for fabric loader 0 0.15.11 to 1.20.4 you want to click that and you just want to click enter the game now as you can see you'll be inside of the game now and it should load up just looking like this if the mod ain't on you'll have to go into your mod settings and turn it on um, so then as you'll see um, it just looks like this you can go ahead and create a world and it will have the same exact as you can see this is the world creation as you'll see you've got more options you can customize it um, just like console edition you can put updates for 1.21 you can um, do loads of stuff but i'm going to showcase you some worlds with this so once you are in the game as you will see it should load up just looking like this now as you can see this is the exact console edition that we all remember it don't even look like java edition anymore honestly it looks very amazing as you'll see um as you can see it's got all the textures obviously the water is 
The water is very different for me because I actually use vanilla tweaks which also tweaks some of the game but you can find that down in the description below to um, change your game. So yeah I currently do have the tooltips off but if you go down into the in-game tooltips as you can see you can change these so if for example you want Xbox 360 edition as you can see the tooltips will now appear as Xbox 360 edition. However, if you do want the Xbox One Edition, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Switch Edition, so on, you want to just click that, and as you can see, the buttons shall change, and now you can change your gamma settings or whatever to look like the Xbox One Edition. It's also PlayStation 3 Edition, which this was basically one of the first versions I played on, which I miss a lot, but I don't really like the feel of it because um, I don't really like the tool tips and just how it looks, like the things down there I just don't like how it looks so um yeah it's just really different so yeah that's really um how you go ahead and change your java to look like this as you can see I will show you some of the textures obviously I have tweaked the lava so it looks like the old one because I'm trying to make mine look like xbox 360 but as you can see it looks very amazing they are implementing a change skin option soon so you can just change your skin right from here and as you can see these are the settings um as you can see you can change it so like say if you want xbox 360 which would be like 10 11 chunks you can change that you can also go ahead and change the gamma to make it a bit darker so say if you want it to look like literally like the old stampy videos or something like that as you can see this is what it would look like so now this is survival mode as you will see um the hot bar looks very amazing as you will see um it just looks like xbox 360 so that's why i have mine on it the xbox one edition xp is a little bit smaller so you won't really um no nobody will notice but i guess um it's very cool as you can see if you are an operator you do have these options for can fly so if I turn that on real quick as you can see I can fly in survival mode. I am in fact in survival mode if I take a drop as you'll see I don't really take full damage which I don't know why it might be because of this but um, I'm not sure why I take full, don't take full damage but um, it might be some potion effect which I don't have any potion effects so I'm not very sure. But yeah, as you can see, I can turn on the invisibility, and as you can see, it is just like Xbox One Edition, or Xbox 360, where you are invisible, and you can just literally troll players with this. It also does have a set player spawn point, which if you just click it, as you can see, and then I go ahead and go in survival. Uh, so let me just fly all the way up here, and then let me just go ahead and go in survival, and as you can see, I will fall. I will respawn and as you can see I spawned in the exact spawn point I set. But yeah that's it for this video if you did enjoy and want to see more on how to do this and you want to see more updates from 4J Legacy go check out their um, their mod pack there will be some updates there in the future. But yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.